Bird watching, the allure of birds, even the vulgar and the routine. Once outside, the birder enters their world, aware of them more than his fellow people. Donning his binocular, the birder cycles off toward the rough country. Katernikov's Nova Bora census, the yellow rail, is on every naturalist's mind. For many, it is the ultimate quarry, and when the birds are singing, it might be singing too. A rush of fresh air and the siren songs of the avian chorus. Combined with healthful exercise, it brings vitality to the young and to the young at heart. Say, isn't that Brad Kerstaka's old satellite Sebring parked there, before he gave it the Starsky and Hutch paint job? Once in the field, one must stay alert, both watching and listening, and smelling too. But the best habitats often require some getting to. There, in the sky, a magnificent bald eagle, harangued by a glaucous-winged gull. Keep your binos steady. Watch your footing. And always take detailed field notes. What's this? An American kestrel, he thinks. And perhaps he's correct. On to the next spot, at a leisurely pace, with a spring in his step. It is a good day for raptors, and the red-tailed hawk encounters a red squirrel. His mind cleared, the birder continues. Haven't seen the other birder for a while. He must be operating the camera. For now, our friend has come to his favorite lookout point, and to him every bird is a thrill. Yes, he sometimes overreacts. But the joy on his face is genuine, and the passing gull brings true human happiness. No yellow rail today, and perhaps none for years to come. But to a birder, it is the search that matters, and the fascination of birding itself. <laughs> 